Alright guys, it's um, Rage here, and this is just going to be a tutorial of probably the simplest effect in editing. This is going to be showing you how to sync up your shots in Sony Vegas. This one's just going to be just Sony Vegas, it's not going to be using Twixter and After Effects or anything, any other program. It's just going to be simply using the anything that Vegas has to offer. So let's get right into it. First of all, you can drag a song and a clip in. You can do that with either going into the Explore tab here and scrolling through your folders until you find it. So I'm just going to get any song in. Drum and bass, I'll do a drum and bass song for this tutorial. And then you can either do it from the Explorer or you can just get a folder on your computer and drag the clip into Vegas, as simple as that. As soon as you get the clip in, you want to um, actually right click on the actual video part of the layer, click properties, uncheck, uncheck the maintain aspect ratio, and then click the disable resample button. So this makes the slow mo look a le lot less like glitchy, I suppose you could say. Now, there's like three different places that I think that you, or my personal opinion, that you can sync to without it looking sloppy. You can either sing, you can either sync to the emphasis of the tune of the vocals. For example, if a song has vocals in it, there's some parts of the song that are going to have more emphasis on it than others, and that's where you're going to sync it to. Or you could also um, sync it to the actual drum beat of the song, or probably the less effective one that still but but it's still effective is syncing it so every shot is the same distance away from each other as the next so that way it's a bit better than just being sloppily placed anywhere so um for this one I'm gonna sync it to the drum beats which just which just happen to be the same as the vocals anyway so it's a bit of um both. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your click on your song layer and use the scrolling scroll on the mouse to zoom in and out of your track. And then you just want to play it through until you find using the spacebar until you find the part where you want to sync it to. Well, there's the first one because that's where the vocals are emphasized and the drum, drum beat starts. So what you do is you click, you put your, your um, cursor at this thing, moving thing, where it starts, and then you press M to add a marker. And it's easy to tell when a drum beat or when a good place to sync is because the audio tri waveform track will usually be more raised than the rest of the song because it's like obviously a louder when the drum comes in it's just a, loud, a louder spike just for a second so that's easy to know when it's to sync so now you go through and find all the sync points so I'll just quickly do that so here's the second point because you can hear the drum, be drum beat and the vocals being emphasised so you click there with your scroller thing and you click M to add another marker I'm just going to find one more And I'll add the last one here. And as you can, and usually in a song, the distance between each drum beat is going to be the same distance as well. But the method I was on about before, where I said just put it the same distance apart, that's only like a last resort if you can't find many drum beats or if it's an awkward song where the waveform's a bit off. So if you can see here, this one's 121 away from each other, and this one is also well, this one's 122, so it's close enough. So most songs have, a de have like a de default layout where the drum beats are all the exact same amount away from each other and usually the vocals are as well so it matches up with the drum beat. So anyway, once you've got all your markers on where you want to sync, you grab the clip which is here and you make the appropriate trimmings that you want to trim like I've got three kills here but I don't really want to put them in. And you can either grab the side of the clip and zoom it in or you can just click where you want it to split and then click S and delete the pit you don't need. So now what you want to do is you want to find where he shoots. So just like You click on the track and just press the left and right arrows and it will go through frame by frame. And then find where he shoots. You can look at the audio where the spike is bigger for the gun sound. Or you can just look through the video. Find where he shoots which is here. And then press S to split it. And I'm going to go through and find all the shots that do that. shot there. Press S to split it and I'm just clicking and going through with the right and left arrows here and the, the more you zoomed out with the mouse scroll the more frames it's going to cut at a time so I tend to zoom in to get an exact amount, exact like position. So he shoots there, press S and the last one now shoots there, press S. So now you've got all the gunshots here split perfectly 
and you just want to match the gunshots up with the markers like this. I don't need those, so I'll just delete them. So now you've got perfectly synced shots, but it just looks a bit shitty because there's black gaps in between. So This is the bit where you add slow motion to make the clips like, like stretch to one another so there's not any black marks and it looks a bit more stylish in my opinion, I like, I like adding slow-mo. Uh, this is the method I do when it comes to adding slow-mo. I only slow-mo the zooming in and zooming out parts and then whatever's in between the zooming out, if it's like overlaid I'll speed up, I'll show you what I mean now. So what you want to do is you want to find the clip, click, click on the video layer and click U so it separates it from the audio and then you want to go through and find like about there, half of you zooming out, go forward a few frames to about there and split it. So now you've got this little chunk here which is just going to be the zooming out. And then you want to go forward and do the same with the zooming in about there, forward a few frames, click S again to split it. And now these two little chunks here is going to be the zooming in and zooming out. So I'm just going to move this to the side. And then you want to click, control, hold down control and click on the edge of the clip and click and drag so it slow motions it. So now the zooming out is slow mode, no the zooming in is slow mode. And then you do the same with the zooming out, with the zooming in. So now you've got to, the sl sl zooming in and zooming out is slow mode now. And as you can see the bit in between is overlaid. So you hold down control, click on it and drag it inwards to speed it up. So now as you can see there's no black marks between that shot and it looks like this. So that looks pretty good and it looks well synced so I'm going to do a, show you again with the next two shots so click U to separate it from the audio split it in the, a few, a part of the zooming out like that go forward until you find the zooming in click S, go forward a few frames, click S again move this part forward slow-mo the zooming out slow-mo the zooming in and because the bit in between overlays like you can see this little um, thing here it means it's overlaid you click control and drag it inwards and then on the last clip I just like to add you don't need to add any zooming in slow-mo because there is no zooming in anymore it's the last shot so I just like to add some slow-mo about here and zoom it out and you can also add slow-mo to the audio layer by clicking on it splitting it and then doing the same thing where you hold that control and stretch it if you, if you just do that though it will sound really Mm, really shitty like this or like this so what you want to do is you want to right click on the audio layer click properties and then where it says method you can choose elastic or classic it doesn't matter and then just click lock to stretch and click ok and now it'll sound like this which is quite nice and then if you watch the whole thing back it'll just sound like this that looks pretty good and what I've done here is I've deleted the bits before the first shot, so all you do is you just drag it back until you find it. And what I like to do is I just like to keep split it where it's zooming in, like that. Delete the excess of it, and then just hold down control, drag it outward to its slow motion to zoom it in as well. So it looks like this. Uh, that's about it for this tutorial guys, if you want more tutorials, if you think this one was good then ask me and then like leave a comment in the, well leave a comment below saying what you'd like the tutorial to be on and if it gets enough thumbs up I'll do it. Um, I'll probably do one showing how to add colour correction or how to add some simple effects to the shots like flashes and like screen pumps where it like zooms in and zooms out again. But that's it for this tutorial guys, if you liked it leave a comment, like and favourite and subscribe if you want to. Uh, yep, thanks guys. Uh, peace out.